Hello guys, welcome back to my week of album reactions. So today, I am finally checking out Kate Bush's Hounds of Love album. This one has been highly requested, so I'm expecting greatness, and of course it's Kate Bush, so, you know. <laughs> Starting off with Running Up That Hill, a song I have become obsessed with at this point, I don't go a week without listening to it. I absolutely love drums that have this sound. I don't know, there's just something about the instrumentation, her delivery, everything about this song. It just gets me. You blast the song in your car at night on a drive. Uh, that would be the most serene experience ever. I'd imagine. I don't drive, so I don't know. <laughs> this song has such an interesting use of background vocals. The element of surprise, <laughs> I think it's all over this track in particular. You never know when and how they're coming at you. This part, this part is ethereal. So cinematic. I was so shook that I heard these vocals at the end. <laughs> Such a cool touch and very unexpected. Still love that track so much. In the trees. It's coming. When I was a child, running in the night, afraid of what I might have been. Hiding in the dark, hiding in the street, and a war was for me. Wow. Okay, first of all, I feel dumb because I just realized that <laughs> there are actual hounds loving her on the cover. Makes sense. Also, this sounds like a coming-of-age film, and I am here for it so far. Let's continue. I really love how she's singing here. Very beautiful transition. Ooh, a distortion. Gorgeous. That was a beautiful track sonically. I just love how it progressed slowly. Oh, okay. Right into it. Whoa. the bass. Kate does love a good groove moment. I learned that very quickly. It's 
By the way, I just want to say I am not ignoring the lyrics to these songs. I'm just taking in the instrumentation and her vocals first, and I will probably reserve my thoughts on the lyrical content for the end of the video, unless there's something that I absolutely need to address in the moment. It's my first listen to a Kate Bush project. You gotta bear with me, guys. There's a lot to appreciate here. So much personality, even in the background vocals. When the airplane was that? Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Those harmonies sound so beautiful. Oh my gosh. She just keeps throwing things in there. She is going off in the background. <laughs> Never heard her do that before. What is the fact? <laughs> How I would have loved to see her recording that. Oh. Whoa, I already love this one. Mother, oh my god. Mother, it breaks the cage and it sounds like a lullaby. An odd lullaby, but an, a lullaby nonetheless. <laughs> That bass is wild. At this point, I have to wonder why Disney didn't reach out to Kate for making some type of Disney soundtrack. <laughs> In fact, give her her own movie. What a missed opportunity. Yeah, I have no idea what it is about the song, but I, I love it. My other favorite. I will never get tired of this song. This song, melodically, will always be top tier in my book. Out of all the Kate songs I've heard so far, Cloud Busting and Running Up That Hill have stuck with me the most. I love that snare so much. Hey, 
I could listen to this instrumental alone. <laughs> like all day. I never get tired of it. A lot of these songs so far are experimental, but at the same time, not at all. It's hard to explain, but just everything just makes sense. I guess it's not simple. Stream like. Let me sleep and dream of sheep. I have goosebumps. All right. Wow. Sounds menacing. straight out of a musical. This piano is gorgeous. What? 
What just happened? Huh. I don't think I'm on Earth anymore. Yeah, no. Mentally, I am elsewhere. What is the song structure? I don't know. I really love this instrumentation. Confused as I am, I am enjoying it. <laughs> I can't keep up! Why do I feel wind blowing on me? What is going on? Is this song in 3D or something? What just happened? I don't know. Just who, what, when, why, where, all of these questions I have. I haven't been this confused since I was 13. <laughs> Had to throw in a gay joke, of course. Next track. <laughs> working with the most interesting blend of sounds but again it works background vocals. <laughs> Once again, composition on point. Not surprised. <laughs> Not at all. Wait, why is there Morse code going on in the background? <laughs> A compliment. <laughs> I expected the unexpected, but at the same time, I could have never expected this. <laughs> like, I could not put into words why I love this so much. It is what it is. What? <laughs> I am just questioning everything at this point. All right, jig of life. <laughs> Hello, old lady. I know your face well. Okay, getting Celtic. Again, <laughs> the structure. I would never picture it used with this type of instrumentation. But she's done it and it, it works somehow. <laughs> I can only imagine all that went into the instrumentation for this entire project.
Why do I feel like I'm in a pub? I've never been to a pub. I don't know what's going on with me. Something about her voice over a piano. Whoa. Love this. Here we go again. <laughs> Was not expecting that. It's a trend at this point. transition. <laughs> voice here. Well, that was the end of the album, so I guess this concludes my first official listen to Hounds of Love, the full album by Kate Bush. I'm going to try my best to give my thoughts on everything and cover some of the lyrics, but best believe I will probably be sitting here next year this time still trying to decipher everything that I just heard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, the production, the compositions, all of that was sublime. 
the record explored so many different avenues, like polar opposites sometimes, and yet it was still cohesive. I can't stress enough how much I appreciate that everything made sense in the context of the project. And I can say that not even knowing what she was singing about half the time. Which just goes to show, there is a lot that goes into creating a cohesive and all-around epic body of work. Not every artist is able to do that, let alone with this level of complexity. Okay, so I did a little research on the album and looked over all the lyrics just because there was so much to take in, and I knew there would be a lot to this album lyrically, which is why I wanted to wait until I heard everything before I started commenting on the lyrics so I didn't confuse myself. And boy, am I glad I did. So I learned that there is an album within this album, <laughs> the last six tracks specifically, and in these six tracks, Kate details a story of a woman who's lost at sea and on the brink of death and uh we take a journey into her mind and looking back on what i just heard within those last six tracks everything makes so much sense now <laughs> it's incredible i would have never guessed i will do my best to share coherent thoughts <laughs> in regards to the mini concept album with the last six tracks she did a fantastic job at telling the story. I can't wait to go back and re-listen to all of them in order so I can fully appreciate it now, but huh, what an experience. Though that's how I feel about all 12 tracks. <laughs> and in regards to the first six tracks, I definitely feel like she was getting more personal there. Well, except Mother stands for comfort, you know. I would imagine she hasn't found herself in a situation like that. Let's hope not. Although Miss Bush, if you have a murderous child, you do you, you do you. I'm not judging, but I'm judging. Okay, I guess I just give you all my favorite tracks on my initial listen? Yeah, okay, so looking at the track list on Spotify, we have Running Up That Hill, Mother Stands For Comfort, Thought Busting, and Dream Of Sheep, Watching You Without Me, and Hello Earth. Those were the songs that immediately grabbed me, and I'm definitely going to need some time with the rest. You know, this is not a normal project for radio. <laughs> And I completely respect that, which is why I want to give the project more time to marinate, and I really want to be able to appreciate everything. Thank you guys so much for recommending that I give this album a listen. Let me know what your thoughts are on this project overall and what your favorite tracks are. Alright guys, that's all for this one. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below so we can chat. Let me know what you thought of this video and what you'd like me to react to next. I love you all and I will see you in the next one. Bye!